All right, guys, welcome back to Urge. We are doing a new race report video for the new class, or classes, races. I used to race report for some classes. Classes. <laughs> But the new races, there's two new races and the new uh, Mythic Odysseys of Theros book that just came out. So the first one is the Leonin. Mm -hmm. These are cat people, essentially. If you're familiar with magic, yes. you know, you're going to be familiar with Leonin. Yes. Uh, but basically, they're uh, tall compared to humans. They're kind of like... Like beefier tabaxi. It's kind of how. I Ever seen say Thundercats, it. people? <laughs> <There you go>. Leonins. <laughs> so it's, it kind of gives some like description and like uh, background of them. You know, uh, noble and fierce. They're tall compared to humans and move with boldness that suggests physical might. Uh, tawny fur covers their Leonin bodies, and some grow with thick manes ranging in shades from gold to black. So they're more like lions, yes. as opposed to like tabaxi. They're more like cats like, like, like i mean Jaguar, obviously lions, and lions are thing. cats like i mean I, yeah. I know that i understand but you know what i mean like we, more we have beefy. we have a, we have agile nimble cat to beefy strong right. cat there we go that's that's what it is. <laughs> uh, also says that they are more uh, they act with confidence and come off as a little bit on the rough side sometimes mm -hmm. but they are quick to quarrel so they simply enjoy fighting uh whether verbal or physical yes. so they like to Take pleasure in argument, wrestling, sparring, and battle, enjoying opportunity to exercise their minds and bodies. So they're very active and playful. I mean, you imagine like buying cubs and stuff, you know, fighting and crap. That's what they're going to do. Get a scrap. So, uh, pride and self-reliance. Few Leonin devote themselves to the service of God. Centuries ago, Leonin worshipped the same gods that humans do, but after many of their prides suffered depravities at the hands of the tyrant Agnomachus. Try saying that six times. Well done. Most Leonin rejected the gods. It's not that they deny the existence of deities. They merely see the gods as mercurial and ultimately unworthy of adoration. So they give some uh, also uh, attitudes that they have towards the gods specifically. So like, for example, it says, I view the gods as worthy adversaries, I'm incredibly clever and well prepared to play a long game, but ultimately doomed to lose their games. So it kind of just gives you some, some lore and flavor on how they would react since yep. their view towards the gods is a big core part of who they are. Right. On the more mechanical side of things, uh, you're getting a plus two to con, plus one to strength. Uh, you know, alignments normally good tend toward you know, tend toward lawful. You know, they're kind of structured. Uh, and, and like I think of how lion pride works. You know, in, in real in the real world, uh, the you know, size are on the you know the bigger side of average, but still medium. They have a 35 foot base walking speed, so slightly faster than yeah. than, than most races. They get dark vision. Uh, they get a free claw attack, so like their unarmed strikes going to do more damage than the average uh, person. Uh, they do get a free uh, proficiency either in athletics, in intimidation, perception, or survival, which again thematically makes sense. Uh, they get common in their own language of Leonin. I'm interested to see if you could get that to kind of tie into a campaign some. Mm -hmm. And they get daunting roar, which is a you know a racial frighten DC of eight plus proficiency plus your con. So it's it's not going to be definitely won't be a terrible right. DC. It will scale yeah. with you a little bit, and it's a once per rest, a free chance to fright within ten feet. Again, on theme, very much so. Yeah, <laughs> you know, definitely. big angry lion dude with his chest out. Rah! You know, yeah. makes you know, thematically makes sense. Um, right. So if you're familiar with again, we have to go back to if, if you're familiar with you know the, yeah. the magic setting. Uh, these you know, this race of of uh, people have been involved in several different planes, different settings. Uh, besides the Theros block, obviously the um, the Alara block I know has got uh, you know your Leon in it, and then you go further back into time, you've got some more there. Of course, a Johnny is the obvious one. Yeah. Uh, that's the Leon in Planeswalker, the only one I'm aware of. Both of us used to be more more heavy and heavily involved, but it's <laughs> it's been a while. Um, but yeah, I, I think on on theme, I think that would be an interesting way. If I was a DM, I might would like to throw a Johnny in there somewhere, yeah, especially some more more well known. Yeah, characters in there. especially sure. if I had somebody in my party playing a Leon, it'd be a yeah. cool way, like for a character to interact with on occasion. Yeah, like that'd that. be pretty cool. Yeah. But obviously, with uh, this race here, uh, it's obviously geared more toward constitution and, and strength, especially with your like claws and your daunting roar being constitution based. It's kind of interesting. It's going to really obviously lean more towards. The uh, brawler type classes, you know, yeah. fighters, barbarians, in the melee department. Even um, a strength based primarily. monk might be kind of fun. Yeah, you, you can, can do some kind of interesting, interesting things. Yeah, I mean, you can play around with stuff, but I feel like um, they're uh, they're not super exciting. They're just a solid. Um, I mean, the lore is probably the most appealing thing I would say in sure. their appearance. Mm -hmm. uh, but the Dunning War could be good in certain circumstances, and then getting two con, one strength. There's 
you know, like we said, several good class options that that could pair well with if yep. that's something you're looking for. No, you're no, no class to... dislikes having constitution. Right. <laughs> if you're wanting to get to be like a cat person, but you're not necessarily interested in a tabaxi because of the stats or thematically or appearance wise, I mean, this might be kind of your cup of tea. Could be. Yeah. But I think that's going to wrap it up here, guys. Keeping it short and sweet here for the race report. And uh, we're going to have a lot of new stuff coming out here with the mythic Odysseys of Theros. Interesting title. Str- yeah, I have to think about it every time I say Because I want to say it, like, mythic guide to Theros, but that's not what it is. It's not it. Uh, but lots of new stuff coming out here. We have mythic mythic monsters could be really interesting, uh, beyond legendary. Yep. And then you have you know artifacts. You have new races. you got new subclasses. we got all kinds of stuff coming out here. So let yes. us know in the comments what you want to see from us. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell notifications when new videos come out. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.